from the road of an automotive diagnostic robot from the future to discover new problems and new vehicles and to go where no other robot has gone before. This robot was recently called to a shop with a very strange problem. The shop had a 1999 Ford Focus with a 1.9 liter and a 4E80 automatic transmission experiencing a loss of power with the headlights on. This seemed too far-fetched for this robot to believe, so I was very eager to see it for myself. Maybe they were trying to pull a hoax on me to test my computing abilities, or somebody just had one too many synthetic oil drinks. But like anything else, we must learn to give a customer the benefit of the doubt until we can experience the problem ourselves. When I arrived at the shop, the head technician handed me the keys to the demon and jumped in the passenger seat, waiting to see the expression on my robotic face. I got in the car, started up, and everything seemed to be fine. Then I placed the vehicle in drive and sped away with no problems at all. I continued to drive the vehicle a few more blocks and could not see anything wrong at all. Then, the tech told me to stop the vehicle, turn on the headlights, and try to accelerate. I did this without questioning and then I was in total shock. The vehicle would not accelerate and felt as if it was in third gear. I quickly turned off the headlights and the transmission downshifted into a lower gear and took off immediately. I was without words. How could this be? How in the living SHSHSHSH could this be? This did not compute. The headlights had no connection to the transmission harness, unless maybe someone crossed some wires somewhere. At this point I decided to get back to the shop to hook up my scope to see what was happening. My first thought was grounds, because it seemed the problem didn't happen until I loaded the electrical system by turning on the headlights. I hooked up my multi-channel scope and with the vehicle running and headlights on, I viewed all the ECM grounds. All the grounds seemed to be below 100 millivolts and showed no signs of dirty connections. My next step was to see what the ECM was actually doing to the shift solenoids when the headlights were turned on in drive range. I selected to view all the transmission solenoids and added my auxiliary scope lead to monitor the headlights. I started the engine and placed the vehicle in drive. The transmission solenoids on this vehicle are all grounded at the transmission and the ECM sends power to each one to energize them. So, as you can see from the next waveform, solenoids 2, 3, 4 are energized in drive to create first gear, but when the headlights were turned on, the number 2 solenoid was de-energized, placing the transmission into a fail-safe mode or third gear. The ECM was seeing something it did not like when the headlights were turned on. But what was the ECM seeing to make this happen? I decided to go after all the inputs to see if the headlights were distorting the signals in some way. I chose to start with the gear switch inputs. I placed the shifter in each gear position and viewed each input, but when the headlights were turned on while I was in low range, the ACM saw voltage in the reverse switch circuit. How could the headlights have shorted power into the reverse circuit and where? The only place I could think of would be at the rear of the vehicle, where the taillights and reverse lights meet. I had the tech turn on the taillights and place the transmission in reverse with the key on. I noticed that the license plate lights and the reverse lights were not working. Both of these lights were housed within the tailgate, so I decided to access the light assemblies to test their circuits. Both the backup and license plate light circuits were getting power, but neither had the ground. By following the harness, I found that they shared the same ground circuit. The harness fed into the trunk, 
at the right side trunk hinge, and it was at that point I discovered a severed ground wire. The opening and closing of the trunk lid over time led to the break in the wire where the harness was routed by the hinge. Now it all made sense to the whole dilemma. Follow me on this one. My advanced robotic mind is now in session. When the headlights or parking lights are turned on, voltage runs back to the taillights. Since the license plate lights lost their ground, the voltage back feed through the filament in the bulb and back through the ground circuit. Since the backup light fed the same ground circuit, the voltage then back fed through the backup bulb filaments into the reverse circuit up to the ECM reverse switch input pin. Thus, giving the ECM a false reverse input with the headlights on while in the forward gear, prompting the ECM to put the trance in a fail safe mode. Okay. Try to explain this one to the customer. Wonders never cease to exist in the auto diagnostics field. It becomes a never ending task of building good diagnostic plan and uncovering culprits that can only enrich you with more knowledge and experience. This is what keeps us alert and interested in a constantly changing technology. I personally get off on all that. That is, robotically speaking. This robot will now power down for a recharge. Will I dream? I don't know. See you next time. Thank you.